In the ever-evolving arena of air superiority, the global competition to develop advanced fighter jets has reached new heights. As nations like the United States, China, and the United Kingdom pour resources into their sixth-generation fighter programs, Russia faces the dual challenge of cementing the operational success of its fifth-generation Su-57 fighter jet while simultaneously spearheading its sixth-generation ambitions, led by the proposed MiG-41 Pack DP. The Su-57, also known as the Felon by NATO, is Russia's flagship fifth-generation fighter jet. Equipped with advanced stealth capabilities, supermaneuverability, and cutting-edge avionics, the Su-57 is designed to rival the likes of the US F-22 Raptor and F-35 Lightning II. However, the jet's development has been marred by delays, limited production numbers, and economic challenges. Despite these obstacles, Russia has continued to refine the Su-57's capabilities. The addition of the second stage Isdalai 30 engine has enhanced the aircraft's performance, providing greater thrust and fuel efficiency. Additionally, Russia is equipping the Su-57 with next-generation weapon systems, including hypersonic missiles, to maintain its competitiveness on the global stage. While the Su-57 is being gradually integrated into the Russian Air Force, the nation's defense industry is simultaneously advancing its sixth-generation fighter jet program, the MiG-41 Pack DP. This interceptor is envisioned to replace the aging MiG-31 and is expected to feature groundbreaking technologies such as hypersonic speed designed to exceed Mach 4, making the MiG-41 the fastest interceptor in the world artificial intelligence to assist operations and enhance decision-making, allowing the aircraft to respond to threats more efficiently. Laser weapons speculated to include directed energy systems capable of neutralizing incoming missiles or aircraft, and stealth and long-range. Capabilities with advanced stealth materials and combat abilities ensuring the MiG-41 remains effective in contested airspace. Balancing the development of the Su-57 and the MiG-41 requires a careful allocation of resources, both technological and financial. Russia's strategy involves leveraging the Su-57's existing platform to test technologies that could later be integrated into the MiG-41. For example, advances in avionics, AI systems, and weapons developed for the Su-57 are likely to inform the design of the sixth-generation fighter. Additionally, the Su-57 serves as a valuable tool for maintaining Russia's presence in the global defense market. Exports of the Su-57 to nations like India and Algeria could provide much-needed funding to support the development of the MiG-41. However, sanctions and geopolitical tensions have limited Russia's ability to attract international buyers, adding pressure on its defense industry. Russia's efforts to develop the MiG-41 come amid a broader global race for sixth-generation air superiority. The United States' next-generation air dominance NGAD, program, Europe's future combat air system FCS, and China's mysterious advancements all present formidable challenges. Each program aims to incorporate next-level technologies such as network-centric warfare, drone integration, and advanced sensor systems. For Russia, Staying competitive in this race will require not only technological breakthroughs, but also robust economic and industrial support. The MiG-41 success hinges on Russia's ability to overcome production delays, secure funding, and mitigate the impact of international sanctions. Russia's dual focus on the Su-57 and the MiG-41 illustrates its determination to maintain a leading role in military aviation. While the Su-57 serves as a stepping stone, showcasing Russia's current technological prowess, the MiG-41 represents the future, a bold statement of intent to dominate the skies in the 21st century.
Balancing these two ambitious programs is no small feat, but it underscores Russia's commitment to remaining a major player in the global defense industry.